Good morning guys and welcome to another video which I'm vegan in front of. It's first thing in the morning, hopefully you can hear me, but check out this view. This is where I spent the night last night. Oh, it's so noisy. It is so beautiful here. I haven't really I'll try not to make this video too long since since it's pretty noisy. But um basically I am in Townsville. This is day number nine, but this is a day video for day number eight because I haven't done one last night. Um I stayed at warm showers. <sighs> Sing. <laughs> and um just yesterday on the bike and it's been like 205 or whatever case. It's literally been the coolest day, one of the coolest days of my life. Like seriously, it was so amazing. <laughs> I just love it so much. And like all I was doing is riding and it was just like so cool. And, and it's ridiculous because I really like feel like this really is like the thing that I want to be doing just cycling to new places and exploring new roads and just kind of charging through kilometers and kilometers in a day and just really pushing myself challenging myself but at the same time you know just just exploring I feel so free and so alive when I'm doing this and it's just so incredible I'm gonna be so confused when I'm back to my real life I'm gonna be like what is this <laughs> seriously but anyway the day was really really excellent um, everything was just just really good um, I went through town called air there was a um, loads of oh yeah there's like so it was actually a pretty big town there's so many like options of what you can eat and um i had like a really good burrito and some stuff and then i could ride like another 100 k's and because it's pretty flat like seriously it's so flat that it's not even like a thing it'd be so easy it was so easy and it's so beautiful because you're going right towards the mountains and then in between the mountains and it's just so beautiful seriously seriously you gotta do it i'm also thinking about different kind of things what i can do when i get where i'm going because like i've missed a few things on the way up the country and i haven't shown them to you and some of you may never actually like come here or you know some of you may not want to go quite at the space and you want to like check out a few things along the way so I'm thinking of going back but not with a bike and just like kind of quickly showing you some of the cool things that are around here um, because I don't actually have enough time to ride back because of my life <laughs> kicking in <laughs> shortly but I guess we all we can't just keep riding and riding just yet maybe one day this will be just all i do and i'll be sitting around making youtube videos and <laughs> cycling across different countries and telling you about the roads and the routes um but it's not that just yet i still have a job and i'm doing all that stuff um yeah between air and townsville there are two petrol stations there where you can like get a bit of resupplies um there's also in the first like 40k leg there isn't accommodation but after the first petrol station there is like caravan park and there's two i think actually yeah there's two caravan parks and then in the last one third of that 100k there's loads of accommodation so if you wanted to do it and you were like wondering oh should i do it, should i not do it like an extra 100k or whatever like you don't have to do the full 100 all the way down to townsville up to townsville you'll have like enough room enough places to stay and stuff um okay let's talk quickly a little bit about garmin and fitbit um 
I know I've got a question about that. So Garmin is excellent and I love it and I've used it in three of my previous tours but on this one I got the brand new bars that you know that I got right the Sente C3 arrow bars and when I was mounting them and I was trying to mount the Garmin mount to them figure out where to put it it broke and it was literally the night before I was leaving. So I actually, I was like, crap, what, what I do? Like I, and I went to like a bike store the next day, but they didn't have a mount, annoyingly. <laughs> so I, I have my Garmin with me, but I haven't used it on this trip at all. Um, I have it with me just in case, like as a backup. I have used Garmin, I have Garmin H1000. Um, on all of my other trips and it has been great I don't generally use garments for mapping I just use it to see the map like I don't use it for directions like I don't watch it where it tells me to go I have used it for that in the past but I find that the battery drains really really quickly and then I don't have that backup kind of thing and then I have to charge it and it can get like annoying but they're still really good and I still rate them and I still use them but I more use them for like counting elevation, counting you know all that stuff that you need, the cadence, the speed, the power, like whatever like you, you're choosing to track and um, the the keys and stuff and it, they're great for backup maps like if you know they're just kind of plan B type stuff with Fitbit like I think this is Fitbit Blaze that I have the coolest thing about it like the thing I love the most about it and that's a bit of a I'll take it off might be a bit of a like cray thing but I love this thing how you can just take it out like it's taken out so easily you can give this a quick rinse but then you can wash this with soap and freaking sponge and as much as you want with whatever you want. That is like my favorite thing about this watch, <laughs> about this fitness watch. Because you can just freaking take it off and wash it and not worry about it. I know there are like 100% waterproof watches out there, so like definitely. I would look into getting a Garmin at some point because I'm wanting to do triathlons. Just like in the future, in fact later this year I want to do a triathlon so I would definitely look into getting Garmin for that uh, but for this trip um, in terms of the use well obviously it tells you time and the date right um, so that's that's pretty cool but other than that like it tells you your calories and your steps and all that kind of stuff and I think it's more of a habit for me now than anything else like I and like in regular life it's helpful to like know I guess all these things like the calories and the steps and but when you're cycling around for an entire day like like you know you're bound to burn heap of calories <laughs> so it's not like you're trying to really count and track every last thing you eat and whatnot right but it's nice to have it as a watch I like the way it looks I like how you can just easily wash it and it's not gonna like be there stinking up for days and and I like it but it's not a necessity because I have not had that on all the tours but uh, I just think it's a professional reference really and it can and it tracks the heart rate and it also tracks the sleep those two are the things that I really like about them and again like especially in my, in regular life it's a uh, it's funny I say regular life but yeah like in regular life that is something that is you know is good to track well it's curious for me to track during things like this like you know that you're just working out all day long but I guess it's also good to track with the time you spent sleeping but again, after riding for 10 hours in a day, you probably are pretty exhausted, so you'll sleep well. Anyway, um, I will end this video here. Hope that us answers that question. Uh, let me know if it doesn't, and I'll uh, chat about it a bit more. I'll go more in depth, so if you have like any specific questions. Um, 
I loved using Garmin for tracking K's though when I'm doing or, or elevation when I'm doing like those you know challenges the 24 hour challenge or they're like half Everesting or Everesting or things like that anyway um, I'm better get going get this day started plus this video has been already 10 minutes hopefully you didn't mind my half like just literally just woken up place face <laughs> um, but yeah last night the lighting was just horrendous like you would not be able to see anything and be just like all annoying so at least for this morning it's like somewhat you know brightish anyway and i hope you enjoy the sunrise a little bit it's it is quite pretty so have a beautiful stunning day humans hope you are doing amazing wonderful things with your life hope you are following the adventure hope you are living life fully hope you are doing exactly what you want to be doing in life or figuring out how you can get to the place where you can do whatever it is that you want to do in life and I thank you for watching another video and um, hopefully you're loving the journey just as much as I am. <laughs> See ya.